it's, I feel like you've had one of the most interesting careers out there because you are involved in just about almost all the big franchises out there. Um, at what point did it start to feel like you have definitely arrived? At what point did you know that, okay, this is actually where I am and I am a big star now? Do you see yourself as a big star? Um, I do. And uh, I think the point that I felt I'd arrived was quite early on. Yeah? Uh, yeah, when the Oz. Okay, um, because Oz was brilliant. I, yeah, yeah, I did a show called Oz and uh, it was a huge phenomenon. Yeah. I was living in New York at the time. Okay. And up until that point, you know, I'd done movies, Congo, Ace Ventura, Legionnaire, you know, yeah. I, I'd had some great, you know, little projects to do, but this was the first one that actually showed my ability as an actor. Yes. So that, that was a huge turning point for me, and that's when I realized, uh, you know, I'd made it in that sense because of the um, visibility. Makes and, sense. But, Makes but it was sense. really, to be honest, it was Lost that actually made me a household name. Fair enough. Because before that, they were calling me Adebisi. Yep, yep, I called you Adebisi <laughs> for a long time. Because, uh, uh, which, is, which is okay, they were re relating to the character. But then Lost, you know, they started saying Adewale and Mr. Echo, okay. so. Well, you've had an incredible story, and you've now told this story in your own way. You've directed it and everything. I know you tried for a long time to make this film. Mm. So what was that whole process, bringing the, the, the film to life? Um, 14 years, I believe, you said, you once said. Uh, yeah, you've been 14, trying to... 15 years. It was really a long, arduous process. Um, you know, for many reasons. Uh -huh. You know, I, I never trained as a writer or a director. Right. Um, you know, I wrote the script as a manuscript, just writing in prose, just just for my own personal catharsis. Got you. Uh, and then seeing and reading that material, I, I, I decided that this would make a great feature film. Um, what was the what was the whole point that you were trying to, because you lived with, uh, you were farmed out, you lived with other people, you joined the skinhead gang. Um, what a, I know you didn't join them, you were, what would you describe that you participated with them? There was an uneasy license, an, okay, alliance. alliance. Yeah, yeah because, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, as I said, farming is the name of the, fe of the feature film, and farming was a term used by British social workers yeah. to describe a practice that Nigerian immigrants used to do with coming mm -hmm. to Britain in the 60s, where they'd foster or farm their children out to white working class families, thousands and thousands all over Britain. Gotcha. So I was one of those children that was fostered to a white couple in the southeast of England at yes. six weeks old and that area had never seen black people before. So you're one of the first black people that they've We that were they the see. first black people, not one of them. We, I was you the, were actually the yeah, first black Yeah, we were the kid. first black kids there. And, and their, their exposure to African culture was limited through the TV, like Tarzan okay. and, you know, so, so they had some very derogatory kind of understanding of African culture. Yeah. And so consequently, it became a breeding ground for our own self-hatred because there was ignorance of racism in the home, racial attacks on the streets, whether it was bricks thrown, dogs, you know. And then, of course, the town was run by a skinhead gang, and so I was constantly subject to racial attacks. So it was a very tough time to grow up in that area in Britain in the 80s. So what, what are the misconceptions about Nigeria that I've heard? Um, I was at South by Southwest, Austin, Texas, and I had an interview and somebody was asking me, so, and he's white, so why do you feel Nigerians feel the need to feature American artists in their afro I'm like, huh? Like, so maybe to gain more, I don't know, um, and then they join us now. <laughs> it's not the, right. What's the stereotype um, people have of Nigerians that I don't agree with? I think that a lot of people outside of this country, and maybe indeed some people here, think that um, Nigerians are very lazy people. I, I don't agree with that. I want to say that as, as far as I know, I, have, I know a lot of Nigerians, and of course from documentaries and all, you can tell that a lot of Nigerians are very intelligent, very creative, very resourceful. The global stereotype about Nigeria that I do not agree with is that all Nigerians are corrupt. Please, I do not agree with such. Not all Nigerians are corrupt. I, as a person, I am not corrupt.